Hey guys, welcome to MLSsoccer.com's Playoff Central, along with two former MLS Cup champions, Jesse Marsh and Ed Grabovoy. I'm Katie Witham. We are down on the field post-game here at the StubHub Center. We just witnessed the Hollywood ending, the LA Galaxy getting their fifth MLS Cup title, Landon Donovan with his sixth, and I have to admit it, you guys were right. Yeah, I think it was the final result that most of us thought, and the game probably played out how we thought it would as well. But on the day, it wasn't the Galaxy's best soccer. Uh, they were uncharacteristically sloppy, uh, especially in the final third with their decision making and passing. Uh, and on a different day, I think that maybe they put that game away a little bit earlier because they did get into some good spots on the field, but just ultimately weren't clean. Uh, but as all great teams do, they find a way to win the game. Yeah, and I, I think there was space there for the plays to happen, but the timing of the runs was off, the timing of the passes, a lot of the touches, and in fact, they had one of their lowest possession ratios in the final third of the all season, their fourth worst. And it's just that they couldn't get the combinations right. So, but a lot of that credit has to go to New England, I yeah. think. And yeah. they did enough to keep themselves in this game. I thought the way that they managed the first half was really good because they still managed to find some bouts of possession to kind of slow the game down a little bit. Mm -hmm. And actually, even when they went down a goal, they kept themselves alive and they scored and really gave themselves a chance and got a little bit unlucky not to go to penalties. Yeah, absolutely. Um, when you watch this game, there were a lot of individual efforts that impressed me, but who stood out for you guys? Well, I thought Marcelo Sarvis was very good in the night for the Galaxy. And I know that they weren't as good in possession as they usually are. And so maybe he wasn't in that facet of the game as much as he usually is. But for me, he was still all over the field with his work rate, constantly breaking up plays on the defensive end of the field. And really, for me, I thought he was a difference maker in the, in the center of the park for the Galaxy. Yeah, I mean, he had a great pass for the assist on the winning yeah. goal. Uh, for me, I loved watching A.J. De La Garza in this game. Mm -hmm. I thought the way he balanced out their team, he sniffed out so many defensive plays, made it hard on Teal Bunbury, made it hard on Kellen Rowe, covered for Omar a few times, and then he also initiated a lot of their attack by how he passed the ball. So I just thought it was such a, in a big game, A.J. really showed up big and was so clean all night. And he may have had the game-changing play early on Charlie Davies. I mean, it was a beautiful tackle in that moment. Yeah, I mean, if he doesn't make that play <laughs> and they go down 1-0 in the first half. It could be different. Yeah, it could be a totally different game. So again, he sniffed out the play, he covered ground, and he made the slide to stop the shot. Okay, so the one guy you didn't mention that we have to talk about is this year's MLS MVP. He was once again the MVP here today yeah. in Robbie Keane. What did you think of him? Well, you know, we've talked all week that big games are for big players. And the biggest player is Robbie Keane, MVP of the league. He shows up, not a great night for him, right? I thought he screwed up way more plays than he normally does, but he arranges himself to, to catch the last pass from Sarvis, and then how he arranges his feet to just simply put it in the corner was fantastic, and in the end, he made the difference. Yeah, and world-class finishers, you give them a second chance like that, and they're gonna tuck it away. Yeah. Absolutely, okay, well, this guy has been on the field against the LA Galaxy this year. You have also played in your time against them. You guys have both been in this league for so long. Is this LA Galaxy team quite possibly the best MLS team we've ever seen? Well, it's difficult for me to answer that question uh, since I've only been in the league since 2004, and there are obviously some great teams uh, especially in the late 90s. Yeah. Uh, but since I've been in the league, I think that they are. Uh, and I think that they just can hurt you in so many different ways. Uh, you look at the, the, the style of play now they play, an entertaining soccer, they can possess the ball. When it's not on for them on the night, they're so dangerous on the counterattack. And so they're such a well-rounded team on both sides of the ball. Very organized, obviously very well coached. So I would say for my time in the league, I think I would have to say they're the best team I've played against. When I look at it, they scored the most goals this year. They gave up the fewest, plus 32 goal differential, MVP of the league, probably the best coach ever. So there's all the stats and the variables. But like you said, for me, it's how they play. They're dynamic in the attack. They don't give much away. They have such balance in the team. They have so few weaknesses. And so for me, this is the best team ever. And you know, I, I, I thought all year long that they would finally emerge as the champions. And they did, and they did it in stylish fashion, saying goodbye to Landon Donovan. Yeah, they absolutely did. They take home the hardware because they are this year's 2014 MLS Cup champions. Okay, so that's what these guys thought of this MLS Cup final. We wanna know what you think. Make sure to leave it in the comments below. And then we also want you to check out all of our post-game coverage. It's right here on MLSsoccer.com. But thanks as always for watching and for a great year.